not talk about Moon, let's talk about Infield, let's talk about Colorful, because the game is about to start. Group A, winner bracket, semi-final. Who will follow 1-0 into the winner bracket final, and who will go down with Orkworker into the lower bracket semi-final? That's the question here. The game has started, and again, the game has been paused to give uh, the casters the time to finish this, and hopefully show the players as soon as it gets. Here we see it. This is the Iceman. This is the two-time world champion. This is Infi. Rocking a Totoro t-shirt, right? Looks I don't like know it. what that is. It's an... Ah, yeah, ah, okay, you don't watch anime, but it looks pretty similar. Military Totoro. And he, he's, of course, one of the representatives from the old guard, but this guy, rocking a Playboy jacket most of the time when we see him, this is colorful. And as I said, a few steps away from his breakout in the scene, I think one year ago he said, oh, this is colorful. I heard his name from some iFan Cups before. Oh, no, this was even in, in December at WCA and, and, and GCS. We went to dinner with him. I said, yeah, colorful. I heard about him, but I've never seen him play. And since then, this boy has improved so freaking much. Ancient Isles is out. Last Refuge is out. This leaves us with Amazonia, Echo Isles, Terranas, and Last Refuge. And the first map is Turtle Rock. Bit of a mistake there. Uh, the ban was, of course, uh, Turtle Rock. No, wait. The pick is Turtle Rock. It's about Twisted Meadows, you know? They, they got the names and the maps mixed up. See? Ah, yeah, the picture is wrong. Yeah. So yeah. either the name's wrong or the picture's wrong. Um, but we're playing Turtle Rock, and so the name is right, I guess. But there was no Twisted. Some mistake, but whatever. Yeah. Twisted got uh, vetoed, I think. And Ancient Isles. Ancient Isles, the most obvious, uh, pretty bad for human in yeah. any matchup, honestly. Yeah, I think so too. Like, especially against Nyla of the Demon Hunter Ras is just way too crazy on that map. Lalai showed an imperfection as, against Infi, actually, at WCA 2015. Legendary series that I myself will never forget. Speaking of hard early games and difficult Demon Hunter Harass, Turtle Rock is one of those maps as well, though. Um, the hardest expansion to take out of any map, if I'm not missing something here. Yeah, probably. And yeah, that was that's why the Demon Hunter can't find a lot of damage to be dealt. But Infi usually like the wizard of keeping his peasants alive. Yeah. I think nobody in the world is so like meticulous and awesome at building placement. It doesn't sound like so impressive, but he always does it like perfectly. Yeah, he is the strongest player with footmen and peasants, I guess. There's no other like him. If he's in shape, and if he is uh, the Enfi that we all know. So the game starts. We're just waiting. Maybe we'll see the players again. So that's what I'm hoping for here before we switch over and no we go directly in game that's what we do and this is to rock cross position in this matchup cross position man it's one of the best things that we could hope for as uh, it, it's basically a guarantee for an action-packed and long game because the human will expand here and turtle rock is a map that was for the most time was banned by humans because it's pretty hard to expand not to get the expansion up but to keep it if you expand here it's very easy to attack from two sides you can't really defend against that if you creep here or if you expand here um, super accessible as well plus the creep spot is very hard early on but humans especially sock i think was one of the first ones to do it found a way to expand on this map and therefore can veto other maps now and then in a perfect world we see big clashes in the middle with lots of uh, bears dryads maybe chimeras against mass casters mortar teams and i'm so much looking forward to that yeah and uh, another specialty on turtle rock uh, is the mortar teams in between the trees there on, oh, on, the, yeah. on the little isolated uh, in the little isolated forest and then we have t uh, towers covering them as well and panda breathing into like the darkness of the trees so there's a lot of stuff that we might be able to look forward to Big question I'm wondering here is, does Colorful want to go there? Does Colorful want to go into the super late game against Infi? Maybe having to go up against Mass Teleport at some, at some point? I know, I know, I'm, I'm looking far into the future here, we're far away from this, but... Using some far side brand style here, right? <laughs> But it's a possibility, especially on, on Turtle Rock. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if we actually see him choosing a Naga second and trying to finish this game early. 
But maybe he does have the confidence. Maybe he thinks going late against Infi, no problem. I can hang with him. First creep camp being taken by both. Interesting to see from uh, the Nidal side that he's... Wait, did he go for the ogres down there? Uh, yes, he, where's the Ancient of War? Oh, no, 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 never mind, never mind, I'm, I'm a little brain farting here, excuse me. He did go for the green camp first and then for the ogres after. You can actually go for the ogres first with that spot spawn, but not too much uh, of, a, of a big deal here happening. I was just about to say, does it really make a big difference what to do first? Mm, not, not necessarily. He's getting level 2 here, bad items by the way. And already the creep is happening here for... Infi going over so quickly, green camp into immediate creep. He must be pretty low on lumber after this, but it's a good decision. Look at the demon, he's so far away. It's way too late for any um, immolation harass now. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well, he can go for it, I guess, but Infi already sending the footman away, so there are no targets for the incoming demon hunter. Here we go. We don't know yet. Oh, he has immolation. So how much damage is he supposed to, uh, uh, can he do here? So far, good positioning by Infi once again. Drives him back in a couple of seconds, just cutting him down to 50% HP and I think so far if he is defending this well but is this a rubber band it looks like it he gets the first kill yo that's the second kill but he has to TP out here no chance for that all right that was round one though he can juice up immediately with the help of moon wells am not yet level three if he can move in here again well yes why are the moon wells so dry I don't know it just turned nighttime, though. Yeah, they, they start with 100 mana. What did he use moon juice on? Against the creeping? I mean, there's... Ma maybe the archer or something? Um, yeah, anyways, usually round two, uh, after the TP out, is where he can do more damage, but with the demon with 100 HP, AM is now level three. We do have one elemental level two against the huntresses. This is looking like a very bad opening for colorful. It does look like it. Uh... But we'll see. There's no shop just yet, so he can't really heal the footman. And the Huntress coming strong now. There is only one water mental shadow melt being used, so at least he has vision. But he doesn't want vision, he wants damage. Where's the demon hunter? Is he still in his base? Yeah, he's losing so much time on this now. He does have a staff, though, so he can staff onto the Huntress. But it looks like almost everything is healthy again for Infi. I am saving his mana, by the way. Seeing a first Huntress, not panicking. Oh, I don't, you know, it's one Huntress. What do I care? He's gonna wait for when the threat is real, and then he's gonna start spamming the water elementals. Now you might be thinking, but why would you do that? You'll get burned anyways. Well, he has Cloak of Shadows. He can spawn water elemental, go in this, and if he actually uh, doesn't attack, he would stay in this. But anyways, Demon is in. He's looking for more damage. One peasant dead. He's gonna get a second one as well. But how is he gonna get out of this? Is he surrounded? Is he stuck back here? If he is, he might just fall. But all right, he will get out was that worth it though two peasant kills for all this time invested he definitely I'm not sure. delayed the expansion quite a bit we're now at oh, five minutes 20 it's still an early expansion tech is almost done but this is very usual for the humans so i don't think uh, he's thrown off by this of course colorful's reaction must be an expansion on its own so he has to go like eat through the trees here attack the turtles expand here this is really risky because he didn't kill too many footmen as you can see one two three four five of them still online now this heal uh, or this region scroll has such big value you can heal a lot at the same time plus the clarity is there so we will have full mana archmage in a bit which will result in like three water mana at the same time so the huntress are pretty much useless at the moment this is a very risky situation for for colorful and he has to go for tier three as soon as he gets but as, as, as soon as he can but he also has to go for an expansion as soon as he can so yeah this this expo needs to come up but in feet he's like he's like a like a truffle pig, you know? He, he, he always he sniffs those out, he knows where they are. He hasn't really seen them, he doesn't really know, but somehow he does know. And wouldn't you know it, wouldn't you know it, here he is, killing the expo again. He always gets to do this. And you need the counter expo here if you're colorful, but not for a long time. This is very re reminiscent of the NSL games that we saw from the two. It's basically the same thing. Um, killing the expansion here and killing one lore. If you get only one lore, it already cuts the production in half. So you can't really catch up with Dryads against the water elementals because you can't build and tech at the same time. Boom, there we go. Panda is here now, but is there a block? Oh, Arch is not moving. 
taking care of the water elemental here to get some experience but yeah you can go for one dry but you can't go for the dispel upgrade at the same time that's what i wanted to say and if he is buying time that's exactly what he has to do more resources invested by colorful now into the new tree of life into the new ancient uh, of lore and here we see Infi's tech halfway through already i wonder how fast his transition into rifleman is and here we see the blacksmith already to deal with the hunters Ooh, surround opportunity though no how does he have so much lumber Usually humans always struggle with their lumber, but he's teching, he has a blacksmith coming up already, and he's at like around 400 lumber. This is looking so well for Infi, and he's still keeping the demon building, he was still stuck on level 2, doesn't even have mana burn it. He has a panda, another hero who needs those levels desperately. He needs so much stuff this game, man. He needs dryads, he needs an expo, he needs high level heroes, and just Infi doesn't give him any of them. Yeah, and look at the micro that he sent back all, of, except one footman, I think he saved them all with low HP and again the value of the scroll of regen is so freaking high. Defend upgrade is coming, it's one of the strongest early upgrades in the game I think with uh, more than 40% damage, or oh, 50% damage reduction plus a block chance um, for footmen against dryads. It's not that strong if it's against huntress of course because it's normal damage not piercing but you know what I mean there will be a lot of dryads coming because he's still not taking two tier three and so bears are far away. Does he have a tree of life coming up? Yep. Okay. So nature's blessing will be required to get the tree into place but that cost slumber takes away from your timing towards tier three is that he needs all that stuff he needs the expo needs tier three needs the hero levels needs just the sheer masses of units to defend what i'm pretty damn sure is gonna be a very very dangerous 75 supply push for the human rolling down the middle lane and trying to keep this expo from coming up here we have the naga strong level one hero mana burn she doesn't really care too much this panda needs to get to level three like yesterday and there is no mana okay there is a mana burn now i think we have the one 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 build as always when there's an emulation harass but the demon hunter is not as strong as he's used to be on level three so, but the panda, the panda is one of the most important things now because there are no breakers yet. So he is able to get to the backside of the army with his breath of fire. So he needs it to be level three until the first big fight. But I don't know if it's possible for him. Got the big uh, potion of healing, which is nice, but not the one that he was looking for. Going for the shop now to have a little bit more vision. But here comes the sanctums already. All right, and this is what night elves across the world tremble in fear of. The macro really ramping up for the humans. He's at 50 supply, he's gonna be breaking within the next 10 seconds. I'm leaning out the window a little bit here, but not too much because he's already up at 1000 gold and what reason is there for him to wait too much longer? He's going for the red cap now. This may be a little dangerous. Demon Hunter is like right behind him, but he will get the kill. There's a lot of good items here, auras especially, and it is the Warsong Battle Drums. 10% on everything. At the moment, it's not that great. Mana burn kill, I guess, on the Ogre Mage, but full healing on the entire human army. And he has Rifleman now, plus the Water Elemental, so the Demon Hunter can't do too much. But at the same time, the expansion is coming up, and Colorful is pressuring here. There's only two towers, so this might be a good chance for him. The Panda is staying back a bit. He is level 3 now, though, and this will be big damage to the passive line. Demon Hunter is missing. Can he get the shop? Does he want the shop? Losing a Huntress here. Definitely a mistake. First Breath of Fire hits. And Infi, does he portal back or is he counter-attacking? He's wasting time at the moment though. This is like, uh, you know, we remember how late the tech was for the Night Up. So there's no bears here yet. I mean, you know, it's Hunts and Archers. Do you really yeah. care? A couple of Dryads. I'm really surprised he doesn't attack the expansion. He keeps on creeping. Um, so definitely a lot of economy damage being done here and now they're all gonna be roasting one more breath of fire might kill all of these peasants But TP home will drive him back and he's looking for the sandwich But it uh, should be easy fight here for the human as militia come from the main as well I don't think there's a TP on this night of force slow could spell the disaster here He's trying to block him he's trying to surround him, but he will just barely get away the I think it was a pretty here. good escape by colorful right he got two priests for free no town port loss because of course he didn't have one, but how many dryads did he lose? Like one? Yeah, one maximum. Yeah. The archers went down, but that doesn't matter too much. Yeah, the hunters, but the hunters don't matter because you uh, roll them out or you, you, you trade them against bears now anyway. What did you get at the red camp, by the way? The second red camp, yeah. the, the starting position he crept. Uh, what's it? No, that's not it. Where is it? The naga? Uh, belt. Oh, that doesn't matter. But yeah, 67 oh, supply hitting... 
Yeah. Kill by by Infi here. Getting the first bear. And the first bear is so big because it provides him with a rejuvenation, which makes the Demon Hunter so strong. There's no dispel yet on Infi's side, so Regen would have lasted forever. And also there's the raw. Here comes the push by Infi. Look at how many footmen he still has and how much damage this is against Fortified Armor. Nice for Lightning level up on the Naga level 3 for her now. And without Master Bears, what can he really do? There are spellbreakers online. The Panda's not that great anymore. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire hits. And he has to distract and he has to get the kills now. Scroll of Region again, you were talking about the value before, and it's absolutely off the charts this game. Even Militia now helping with the Tree of Life, Fog Lightning against the Repairing Wisp. I think he could just right click on it and kill it, but he doesn't need to either, does he? Rejuvenation being stolen, being put on the opposing first hero. Tree of Life is down, two base versus one now. Big supply advantage. All the advantages with the human player who's playing a fantastic game now. Demon in trouble. There's no staff in this army. No. Uh, oh, there is actually. Okay. Panda's on him. He can swap it over. The panda has only one breath of fire though, and as you said, 70 supply army by Infi. This is exactly what you pointed out earlier in the game. He will hold back for a long time. He will be struggling for a bit until his expo is up, and then the humans just explode into 70 food, and that's the big timing. Not 60, not 80. No, it's always 70. By the way, he skipped uh, workshop entirely, yeah. despite all the lumber he had. Yeah, that's true. That's interesting. Maybe he just he did. Maybe he didn't expect to have so much lumber, but it's Infi, so. <laughs> anyway, he didn't need the more teams. This game has been going so well for him. Pretty Tom experience was very nice, and the uh, hood not so nice. But you know, level four for the demon. We finally have level three mana burn after. Level two, you mean? Uh, level two mana burn. Yes, exactly. After tw uh, 13 minutes, 14 minutes, I can't really read it. Yeah. Almost a uh, quarter of an hour. Panda's getting level 4 though, that's the big risk for the human army now. Colorful is still not out of this game despite losing the expansion. If those heroes climb up to higher levels, they become the biggest threat to the human army. Scroll of the Beast here, by the way. Also, no dispel if there's no wisps nearby. And Rifleman with Scroll of the Beast is a really good answer but there are yeah. wisps I'm pretty sure they must have good upgrades as well with all the lumber that uh, infi had this game one, one zero only but he really researching something oh okay it's for the breakers he's well, preferring the breakers oh that's why he has so much lumber he doesn't have so many upgrades yeah. okay okay interesting usually we always consider in this like uh, tier 2 human army to be the mortar teams the most dangerous thing but infi's like now nah, don't need him bro easy game Archmage level 5, very close. Naga level 4, very close. But at the expansion, we have the Knight of Now being on the offensive. And it's Siege Bears. Immediate Town Portal this time. Cuts the HP of the workers in half. But yeah, this is just a force TP. Cost him a little bit of gold. And if he escapes without losses, this is basically the grubby style from back in the day. Harass with uh, raiders against buildings and then go back so your opponent loses the town portal 350 gold and you don't get a get some breaker here he moves it into the corner so the bears can't reach to buy more time infi you're looking pretty damn sexy right now of course the knight can never win a fight here never ever absolutely impossible question is, is he going to be forced into a tp or not he's dispelling the slow but he can't dispel mm, early blizzard We're only hitting the panda here He's getting slowed over and over. Of course, the cold arrow cannot be dispelled by the dryads, but he will be getting away without having to pop the TP. The demon could have been harassing simultaneously, but he didn't take advantage of this. That would have been a really nice move here with a tele staff. Now he's going in, but well, it's a little late. Does he want to use immolation now? He's full mana. I think that would be beneficial. But yeah, the reason for no uh, morph teams is now the, the early blizzard. That is the area of effect damage that he needs. That's the area of effect damage that he wants. And while he's killing the expansion, he's setting up a new one on his own, but Infi is pushing. Town portal in, or portal in from the demon hunter. He's back his full army, but it's only 56 food versus 76. Panda's doing a good job so far, but this is all one of the best positions that Infi can hope for. The melee units up front, the breakers there. And look at the demon hunter. He has to pop the big potion. The fairy dragon is in a nice position, but for how much longer? The bears, man. They have frozen to death and they lose basically all their life look at those buff tier 2 units they have scored protection there so they have the man. beast they have upgrades they have the aura that he found the warsong battle drums very strong game by infi um it was very one -sided. way too much at the end i mean once again um colorful really didn't or wasn't able to pull up this first harass 
Like that was th there was no success at all with the first Huntresses, and then he lost so much time um, because of the Huntresses. His tier two tech was late already, and then he lost his expansion and the first engine of Lords, so he lost more time. And then infield with a seventy supply push, and everything was too late. I think. Yeah, I think the game was almost lost uh, when he didn't connect with the emulation harass, yeah. and. Infi surprised me there with how fast that was. He creeps the green camp and usually after that the humans take like another small camp only with the water elements and the footies. And then after that the, all the militia come over for the creep. But he says, nope, after the green camp we walk right over. It's like uh, the peasants, they had no break that day. There was uh, <laughs> They were working all the time, working overtime. And the timing was just totally missed by the night of Infi on the other hand with a very good timing. Surprising us, surprising colorful maybe on uh, Turtle Rock. Next one's gonna be Twisted Meadows. There, the timing is much more set in stone. You know exactly when what is gonna be happening. It's of course gonna be the laboratory first for the M. It's gonna be level two. And then shortly after that is gonna be the expansion. So it's gonna be quite a bit later than it was um, yeah, on Turtle Rock. Or of course he could go aggressive, but that's not really in fear, is it? Not really in this matchup. I think I have seen him skip the laboratory and go for the expansion immediately. Oh really? Yeah. That's I'm pretty sure about that, that I've seen it. As we said, uh, these two faced off at Neo Star League last week. It was a 3-0 for Infi there in a best of five. Not, uh, of course, not a best of three. So if he wins this game, he's 5-0 against Colorful in, in two matches. And Colorful tried so hard to push with the Huntress every time. I'm not sure if this is the way to go. Maybe you should rely more on bears. Yeah, Huntresses in general, like, I've been so underwhelmed with them against human recently. There was a time, like, when, for example, Foggy was really strong with them, with, like... Yeah, Foggy and Olaya, those two. Yeah, with, with, like, unconventional stuff, like Warden first on Amazonia, <laughs> like, yeah. double AOW, AOW Huntress harass, like, weird stuff like this. But I haven't seen them be too impactful, in my opinion, in quite a while. And obviously, in the late game, they fall off so hard. Yeah, but of course the key is to to not let them get to that late stage. So that's the, the, the that's the purpose of the hunters. Yeah, but I mean, do you have to play that way? Couldn't you play like more laid back? Maybe do you have to play so aggressively towards the expansion? Couldn't you like for? Couldn't you try to expand earlier? You know. Expand on tier one. That way, you, Infi can't cancel the expo when he is done with creeping his own and move over and cancel yours. You sure about that? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, he can't be in two places at once. It's, he's not that good. Well, if, if he has level three and still six footmen, then I mean, um, you start your expansion as the night elf before the human finishes his own expansion. Ah, so basically, the, as it is on Echo Isles. Yeah, exactly. Okay. However, of course, when you do that, you delay your Dryads and your second hero, and they are very, very, very good against Furies and against Human in general. But uh, in face, he's just way too good at finding those Expo pickoffs if he has the opportunity. I feel like nobody is so good yeah. as he is. He he's, does he's so pig. much. He's, he does so much with so little. But this is only possible because he saves so many units in the early game. Yeah, Infi's footies, it's amazing how usually footies totally worthless after like 10 minutes and for Infi after 15 minutes it's left big value. <laughs> it's crazy. And here we go, map number two, the favorite, Infi is in the lead and we're going to a big macro, ma macro map again. Didn't really have a very big macro game on Turtle Rock but this might be changing now as we are about to head into Twisted. Colorful. How does he play this differently? He got, honestly, pretty damn shriggity shrekt on map number one. He needs to change something up. Huntress harass on Twisted. Mm, is that a good idea? I don't you know. You can follow it up with a... Um, with a tower push. And to protect the push, definitely possible on TM. All right, and it is close positions, I guess you could call it, but it's not with the Night Elf being close to the laboratory. Then again, Night Elves don't really harass the first laboratory camp in general. Blade Masters do, Death Knights do, if they're close. Night Elf, not so much. He's gonna be creeping with the Ancient of War first. It's gonna be almost level two for him. Oh, wow. What a statement this is. 
I've never seen Colorful play the Warden, oh. and usually the Mountain King is the counter that the Chinese humans play against the Warden, or most of them, um, especially Yumiko as well. But I've never seen him play that Warden, so it's almost a Demon Hunter. Why do you go MK against a Demon Hunter? Especially on, on TM, where with a Water Elemental you can creep this laboratory with so easy, you're, you have an immediate level 3. Is this overconfidence from Infi already in the second game of the tournament? It might be, but he is more familiar with Colorful than we are, and you say you don't expect Colorful to play a Warden here. That being said, though, it is a very, very uh, popular Warden map. So, yeah. then again, maybe, you know, maybe just Infi isn't so familiar with Colorful, doesn't know that Colorful only plays Demon Hunter, but just knows that it's a very popular Warden map. But what I'm looking forward to here is a different human style, because we've seen this in the past, Twisted Meadows, MK first against Night Up, and it ends with triple hero, mass expansions, knights, um, and griffins, and tanks, and this usually ends up in a long macro game, because with an MK second at uh, first, yes, you can play the 70 push with, like, an Archmage, second for Brilliance Aura, yeah, but it's not really so strong. So I hope we're gonna see a long game here. I haven't seen one of those in quite a while. And well, in general, the Warcraft world hasn't seen one of those in quite a while. Does Colorful know how to deal with a game like that? That's a good question. You need a lot of experience and endurance for those games, and Infi is the best when it comes to uh, those long games, the macro games, the decision making, when those points are more important than, for example, micro. He's not the greatest micro player in the world. So that definitely suits his uh, case, and Colorful is well aware of that, I'm sure, and might want to force an early end. But this time, no Huntress Hall early on. It's an immediate tech two, tier two. And Infi went towards the mercenary camp, got a shadow priest already, and a well of mana stealing from there. So he crept that one completely with militia, and it's close to level 3 without the laboratory. Alright, and the jig is up now. Colorful saw the first hero. Now, level 3 demon hunter sounds pretty damn strong against the level 2 MK. He's not gonna quite get it from this camp, but he's gonna be pretty close, and he already has more camp support in. Uh, uh, with this Shadow Priest might even go for a Berserker as well, but expensive units early on against an MK, always dangerous, you know, bolts around and boom, easily falls, and here we go, here's the expansion, this was uh, not the timing that we were expecting, this is no AM, this is the Mountain King, and here we go, expansion about to be taken, this will be level 3 for the MK now, does the Demon Hunter want to go in here for Harass, or is it just futile, because of course the threat of bolts around is always there. Yeah, that's true. Um, he doesn't have Immolation, I'm very sure of that. This time it's the level 2 Water Elemental and Evasion Colossal Attack plus 9, alright. Uh, doesn't suit the Mountain King too much, but he is level 3 now. And can he... Oh, main base! Oh, there we go. Oh, he does have Immolation, that's really surprising. And this is a little reminiscent of Infi vs. 1 to 0, when Infi got harassed in his main base and couldn't get the expansion up. At least it's, it's crept now, but he's taking so much damage in his economy. And he actually did go for evasion. That means he has to wait for level 4 until he has mana burn level 2. And he's going up against an MK. Yeah, it's really weird. And now he gets the storm bolt, now he gets the surround, and this is uh, has to be the town portal out, almost. He can't really buy that much time, can he? It can be pretty annoying here. He knows that MK can reach- Oh, and he has split pushing at the other side with his army. That's pretty cool. I don't know if he got any kills. Oh, nice. Traps himself in the tree so he isn't attacked by too many units. So he can stay in there a lot longer, but it's still not enough for the self-teleportation. And it will be a TP. There we go. And this is where I would expect... Uh Tree of Life to be coming up somewhere, but we don't see anyone on the minimap. He does have the resources for it, but wants to have second hero and Lores first, it seems. And of course, with the MK, it's a lot harder to take down those Trees of Life. No water elementals yeah. and so on. He's gonna go to the shop, get Boots of Speed most likely here. Telly staff as well. Is he going to be looking for this counter expansion? Because it has to come at some point, obviously. Because the units did harass for the night elf, but the expansion is coming up after all. Kind of, it's so late. It's like six minutes already, and this is not a fast expansion. He needs to harass it further, though, or he realizes, yeah, with the panda and more mercenaries, I think he can go for it. Um, because that creates a threat, so that means he can't really harass his base. It's only one lore at the moment, though. 
And if he is expect he's so expecting a counter expansion, like he can't really believe what's going on here. Sends in a wisp. There is one footman, but he doesn't care about this. Demon Hunter back in there. And how much damage can he do this time? It's level three. Is it level two evasion? No, it's not level one. This is. Go TP, by the way, on the Knight of Sight. Here we go, turn his staff in, and he does land inside, so he can fight against the Demon Hunter right now. Well, how does he want to get out there? He can't. He can't. Wait, wait, oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. No emulation anymore. The mana is completely gone. He caught one pass, and then this is good damage. Is it enough though? Okay, he's staffing out now. As the army comes, it would have been so awesome if the army was at the expansion right now. But he didn't take advantage of that opportunity. Again, Infi super greedy, not going for towers. He has one in the base, one at the expansion. It's only arcane towers. He doesn't have guard towers because the lumber mill is not up, so he's a little late with that. In the main base of Colorful, we see the second engine of law still no tier three tech. I wonder why that is. And no counter expansion. Does he yeah. just want to all in this on one base, trying to crack the expansion of Infi? It's going to continue creeping here. That's kind of a hard camp to take, though, without militia. He could call some. He also got his MK stuck in the main. He now has to open up the way. Finally did. But now also the Night Elf can enter. Another issue that could be coming his way. Okay, definitely a more open game than the first one was. Mounting level 3.3 .3 already. Not too many good items, but he will find one most likely here. Goes for a shredder, nice damage, and also very good to defend the base, not only for lumber income and zeppelin. Whenever humans or knights are in danger, the zeppelin is their biggest friend or best friend to create some time. And he finds boots of Kaltaraza, right? That's not good. More attack speed, more bash, but not what he was looking for. Absolutely, bad items there. He does get level 4 from it though, and rune bracers, oh yes, that's the sweet. dream. Sweet, sweet item, uh, damage reduction against the Stormbolt, which will land a lot of times on the Demon Hunter if there's not too much uh, mana burn. We have seen the emulation build, so there's not going to be too much mana burn. So one of the best items you could have found there. Slow now, but there's a Zeppelin in times of trouble, he can just save the MK, and Expo is up and running. And so it's also really cool, you know, to not get burned when you're inside there, you <laughs> can't get burned. There are dryads, however, now, which could, uh, you know, shoot that thing out of the sky yes. after a little while, but you can also micro against it above the trees. Still no color expansion for colorful. There must be a tier 3 tech on its way. Yes, there is. And it's so late yeah. now, he has to bust the expo, right? I have no idea why it's so late. Like, there's no real reason to. He doesn't get a massive amount of mercenaries. He didn't go for an expansion. He didn't tech something weird. He got his engine of lore late as well, so his second one. So, I don't see the reason for this tech name so late. Maybe he, like, had a little too few wisp for a while. I'm not sure either. Yeah, he wasn't reproducing, but Infi is still on tier 1. Didn't even start. Okay, now he started this. This is so late, it's almost 10 minutes into the game and he starts his tech now. So, there's definitely a good chance for Colorful now, with the first bears, uh, with Masters of course, to break that expansion. Infi knows it, towering up. And actually, with the tech being so late for Infi, I think he could still even go for the counter expo. We saw a wisp moving down, and yeah, there is the counter expo below the gold mine. There it is. Ring of Protection, obviously not the greatest. And here comes the Zeppelin harass. Has a Zeppelin Please. fake harass, but the oh, demon knows yeah. what's up because on the left he's harass. No, nope. I thought he was harassing, but he wasn't. MK is just creeping by himself, getting closer and closer to level 5, and that Stormboard level 3 is damn scary. Yeah, Scourge Bone Chimes will most likely sell it, except if he wants to go for Knights later, but I highly doubt it. Level 3 on the Panda, Ring of Regeneration for uh, Ring of Protection for him, not what he was looking for. And there is the master training, the key upgrade in this matchup. And how many towers do we have? Two. Infi was once called the sixth race, the tower race, infinite towers. He uh, backed up from that and played more normal than four. But now he's forced into it. And MK, yeah, getting closer to the level 5. We have quite a few towers, like it's about to be 5 guard towers, I think. But the panda with the Breath of Fire, man, he's roasting those buildings. He's gonna have two more in just a very short while. And so far, Infi isn't forced to go home yet, can keep on creeping. But buildings are gonna start falling very soon here. Is this 
The most effective use of Colorful's time, though, is this, I'm, not, I'm not so convinced. Okay, he's forcing the town portal now. Demon Hunter is not with the army. He uses the next. Oh, 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 oh holy cow! How is he supposed to save this panda? There's no chance for him basically to get out there. No mana burn, but they're slow. And what a save here! Can he get out somehow? Is there a step? Can he swap the step? He wants to swap the step. Does so, and here's the mana burn. But level five with the Mountain King, and there's one more Storm Bolt. Uses it on the Demon Hunter immediately. But now the Mountain King is completely caught off guard. Bears are hitting him, Dryads are hitting them for slow, and this was way better for Colorful than expected. And it should have been. Dude, but he almost got the panda that was so close. I think actually he blocked with the Dryad and kept him out of range and moved the panda around the trees. That was a really cool move. And he's gonna keep on pressuring. I don't think there's mana anymore for Stormbolt. And of course there are root bracers to work against. He's gonna have one in just a second here. Don't get burned. And he won't. Stormbolt can finish a bear now if he wants to. And oh, beautiful staff action by Colorful. And he saves his altar. Uh, Infi does by for now, but the Blood Mage still might not be coming out. Castle Tech is real, but the Panda is coming back. This is not looking good for the altar. Right clicks it now. Is there another roar from this bear? Doesn't seem like it. He used the redo. Now mass repair. Oh, he would love to have this Blood Mage for mana burn, but wow, look at the damage. It's so hard, but it seems to be enough there. Another, there is another Breath of Fire. He has to use it. Whoa! Holy shit, that staff was super close again. Loses the bear. That was over. Commitment by Colorful and Infi saving his altar, getting the Blood Mage, and saving the towers as well. And it is a uh, MK level 5. Of course, at the beginning it should be Siphon Mana, yes it is, but Bolt Banished later is gonna be sick. Indeed, he goes for the hero now, but the Zeppelin is there to save him. Almost no anti air except the Demon Hunter, who's close to level 4, which will finally uh, mean level 2 mana burn. Infi, by the way, towering up here. Another nice stab yeah. dodge there from the bolt. And yeah, this expansion to the top left, that's a very unusual to, one to expand. If he t pays close attention to the inventory of the MK, he might sniff this out. But uh, he has a lot to worry about aside from that at the moment. We have finally the first few arcades coming up, tier 3. Uh, gonna be a little while longer. Where did he lose the shredder? Oh no, it's right there. Yeah. Derp. Yeah. So, colorful expansion up as well. I think he was slipping in macro a little. He's only now producing Wisp, so this could have been better. And he realized, okay, main base, I can't crack this. He's there, he's right in my face, but there was another target I can go to. This is the Sanctum, and he's still producing breakers just to get uh, something to hold on until he has tier 3 at nights and of course bricks are great to steal redo, to steal raw, and to do some good damage with uh, feedback ability. So if he can kill this, would be nice, but he needs raw for that. But, you know, if he doesn't get much damage here, oh, hold that thought, demon in trouble, but he's going for the panda instead, Siphon and Bolt losing that mana pretty quickly, but there will be a staff here to save his buddy. He has another Storm Bolt though, can he somehow get in range and block? No, he goes for the safe uh, way and kills a bear, level 4, the demon hunter finally, but yeah, his mana has burned the entire time. Staff was almost cancelled there for the panda coming back in. Here we go. Drunken Head for the final. Too impressive. But with this Storm Bolt, man, he can find so many pickups when it only was one bear. But it's like he has so little. His army doesn't matter at the moment. The MK is the only thing holding him in this game. <laughs> Look at the damage. Jesus Christ. He's going to save him again. The double staff action working out well for him. And finally, we see the level 2 mana burn coming in. And this is so key for Colorful now to just keep the mountain king low on mana so there's no shop anymore if i'm not mistaken so clarity is another thing he doesn't have brilliance aura which is a big factor so mana burn absolutely key spell for colorful now but there's gonna be a paladin here pretty sure yeah there we go archmate third would be kind of weird um being out very very soon and once he's here i really don't think there's any opportunity at all anymore to break this Colorful was trying to break the main, didn't work. He was, you know, not really break, but uh, put pressure on the expansion, didn't really do too much either. He could have spent all of this time creeping, and he would be level 5 panda by now, but he didn't, so uh, I feel like he tried to go for the aggressive stance, and it didn't go the way it was supposed to. Ring of Protection, very unlucky item for Infi, though for the Mountain King, uh, it's very tanky now, so might be okay-ish, but that's not what he wants. He's still... Bangs on Infi's door, but it's 67 food, he can't break that. Th uh, second expansion is up. We see how much gold is there. 4,200, so more than enough gold. 
Level 2 for the Blood Mage. Did we see Banish yet? Not yet. He just got with that camp. And by the way, the expansion, the second one, was scouted. I think it was a hippo flying over, so... Should be feeling the pressure here, Colorful, to do something. And once again, he's just gonna be wailing away at those buildings. Seems like... A uh, pretty straightforward approach most of the time here from the Night Elf player. He's gonna get the Sanctum. But there's already, already a, few, a few breakers out, and I think their main purpose is stealing Riju, and for that you don't need too many. That's true, but now he can't reproduce them anymore. He loses a bear over it. Now a staff again. Colorful with really good staff action. Bought two as well. Here we go. Finally, the army for the human meets oh, up. But the, the damage man. is really high. So good movement by Colorful, but he just slips out with the uh, Berserkers here. Nice staff and Holy Light to save them both. Very well done by Enfi. And this is a scary army for the Night Elf. Still, the human in the position where he can't contest is not in an open battlefield. This knight should be falling. That's only one step. Oh, the banish. He can't dispel it though with the dryads, which he does a little too late, maybe. But those knights need to be kept alive. Fighting against those bears though with roar, no matter how, no matter how many you have, it's always going to be a tough fight. Banish bolt combo is online though. He gets another berserker here. What's Infi doing the rally point or whatever was wrong? But we say the same here for Colorful. Ah, he realizes it before the storm bolt hits him. And of course, he kept the vamp aura for the late game because he knew he was going for knights. And now this item is so freaking good. Still needs a little bit of time though. I'm still expecting the griffins, but uh, no aviary so far. There's a lot of space, but he doesn't use them. Right, here we go, going towards the main again, we've seen this movie before, oh, I think the MK stuck, oh yeah, the telly staff, no. okay, so no worries, no worries, running into all of these towers is the one way that Colorful actually uses a fight right now, first bear will be getting staffed, mm, nope, I guess not then, everything is starting to get very, very hurt, almost losing another dryad, and Infi is fine with this, he's just keeping on creeping, he needs to get those second and third hero levels up, yeah, Blood Mage still level 2, Paladin is still uh, chaseable without the without Divine Shield. So what's the reaction by Colorful? This is the reaction of Colorful. Chimera Roost, only one though, that's interesting, and he's getting ready for tanks. He's expecting tanks somewhere, which are not coming at all. Yeah, but uh, historically that is what you're supposed to expect, They're going up against this style. But uh, there's the Gryphon area, by, yes. by the way. Uh, building it somewhere else. There may be a workshop here. No, <laughs> so he's not scattering his production all over the place. Is the blood mage level three? Not yet. Blood mage level three is where it starts getting really scary. If a hero walks in of the opponent, you siphon it right away. You bolt it after, and he loses so much mana. And of course, you can give that over to the MK or to the paladin later, whoever might need it. And it's at the moment just the mountain king defending the main by himself. Mountain king towers and masonry yeah. upgrade. But there's gonna be chimeras, there's gonna be uh, the upgrade, corrosive breath most likely, so he can attack the towers without being hurt. It's gonna take some time though, and what does he really do here? Infi is gathering an army for melee units, I say, of course the breakers are ranged, but you know what I mean, they block, and that's what they're there for. Infi with the big red spot, now the Mountain King still stealing experience from his second heroes, but he will get three, and he is two already, with the pendant of mana on the paladin, holy cow! And for all your ARPG players, out there you can min max really hard with a pendant of mana drop that thing on the ground siphon over pick the pendant up again and hey what do you know 300 mana suddenly and still the night elf being trying to be in the human's face and he has dealt damage don't get me wrong but it's like has infi been sweating this game has he been like oh my god i'm about to lose this i'm not so sure not really right but this is the last big power spike i guess that colorful has because at some point the griffins will be a little overwhelming for him. Town portal in now. There is one chimera. What's the anti air of him? Stormbolt. Stormbolt, right? There's no water mental, there's no gyrocopters. What can he do? I mean, of course, hawk transition is possible, but it's only one griffin aviary. Yeah, he really needs a second one. He should have the resources, right? Yeah, yeah. Two bases. Uh... 1,500 gold, 700. Mm. I think he but really needs a second He's at one. 80 food already. If he wants to change his army constellation, he has to go into high upkeep. And yeah, that, there's, still, there's still a lot of stuff stuck, uh, waiting in the main, I think. Well, yeah. not so much, but honestly. Just, like, there's no anti-air. But you can go really hard, like, uh, value-wise, with double staff, triple staff on the human yeah, side. Yeah, that's true. That's absolutely correct. 
And how far is the panda? Level 4 for him. Demon Hunter level 4.6. It's getting closer to those sweet, sweet level 5. Three griffins. They have to carry. Griffins and heroes have to carry. And it's getting better with Stormhammers. I wonder if he's gonna decide to approach with the Stormhammers upgrade, but he only has like a handful of griffins. It's not like the bears are, the bears are gonna melt right away. I mean, they're gonna die pretty quickly, especially with the help of Stormbolt. Upgrade-wise, by the way, 2-1 for the Night Elf side. And for the human, we have... 2-0, and here we go, going into the fight. Palin already pretty hurt. Where's the MK, I wonder? TP out because something's happening in the main, because the panda is afraid of a couple of breakers. Uh, he has to save this uh, expansion, because the main gold mine is empty. He can walk over, he does have nature's blessing, so, but th this is not crept yet. So this is his only income. Well, Infi is still mining here for 2,000, he's still mining here for 3,600, and he's here, so triple income versus one at the moment. And I think at some point Infi can't afford to go into high upkeep, if it stays this way. Yeah, but I think Infi most of all would like to find some creeps and even though this is Twisted Meadows the creep camps are getting kind of rare you can still go to the islands but it's always a little troublesome with like zeppelins and all that stuff and still colorful trying to be aggressive and expanding now at his opponent's base kind of in the south trying to keep that away from Infi when the Tree of Eternity makes its way over to the natural and panda and Demon Hunter once again knocking on the front door but they might be forced home again towards the expansion because there's a lot of damage now Oh, there is a town portal on the Blood Mage. Three engines of war to protect this. Who's faster? There is Siege Bears. I wonder if they can make it. 2-1 upgrade now for them. Where's the Chimera? He needs the damage. But Breath of Fire is good as well. Expansion down. Town portal in now. Can he save it? Oh, there's no repair. Super duper close, but Infi gets it well executed. Man, that was as close as get. That was like... Uh half a second that he had to complete that TP but the panda sees the new towers coming up here and that's gonna be easy cancel and more experience towards level 5 5-5 five, five is gonna be a big deal for those Knight of Heroes I wonder though when they play up against 5 let's say 4-3 aren't the human heroes ahead? Uh, very hard to say it depends on what you want to do with it I guess I mean the Knight of Heroes are so versatile there's kind of in disable, they are tanky with evasion, they have uh, area of effect, plus a miss chance, plus damage over time, and the ults are definitely stronger. On TM, maybe mass teleport is superior, but there is no mass teleport because there's no archmage, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Infi did go into my upkeep here, 94 supply. This is gonna be a big, now yes. the, the first power spike basically for the human, but I'm not sure is his army actually stronger? Of course he's gonna come down to control it. So it's just gonna be a click versus a click. Well maybe for the night off. <laughs> but definitely not for the human player. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Alright, Demon Hunter, take off down to the front lines. Where's the invo? Where is your invo? He doesn't have one, but he does have the staff, but now it's all the fight. Hippo's coming in, but everything's being shackled. MK in the front lines in trouble. Where's the healing? Something. He has to be staffed out as well. So no more stormboat in this army. Some suddenly this isn't so scary anymore, perhaps, for color who is hitting level 5 on the panel the breath is gonna be big but the air superiority might be with the human player where is the first heroes for both of them they need to come in banish against the chimeras to prevent the damage from coming in the scourge bone chimes also so nice level 4 now for the blood mate I'm still waiting for the first heroes which aren't here but I think this fight might be going towards the human player regardless as the two heroes here with the knights the strong knights are so strong right now so powerful but everything's hurt breath of fire could find more kills and that could him get him closer to the ultimate but now heal after heal he has no breath of fire he just needs this seven experience colorful lost almost his entire army 38 supply only against 57 from infi and yeah as he said it was air superiority the griffins won him the fight man it looked very very close on the ground but then it swung around there was nothing against those shackles absolutely nothing that he could do against it did we miss the demon hunter kill where's the demon no, no, hunter, demon hunter is, uh, was walking here somewhere I don't know. Well, the expo is gonna die here. There's the demon finally back again. Can the panda find the kill? He needs one kill for level six. He's gonna get stormbolted. He's gonna reach level six. It's time to split, but he doesn't have the mana. 
The MK isn't following for the kill. He's gonna get mana burned. The Mountain King is, so now he can't Stormbolt himself. This is looking very dire now. For Colorful, everything is close to dying. No Siphon mana, though, to give the Mountain King more juice. He's gonna retreat back to the Moon Gods, but the Moon Juice isn't looking so good, and that's GG, actually. Infi on the back foot for such a long time, but he grinds it out. And he actually wins it in the end. That is the 2-0 for him. That is him moving on in the upper bracket, moving, uh, playing up against 1-2-0 in his next round. And look how happy he is about this. <laughs> Yeah, this was uh, business as usual for Infi. It was a long game, but he's so experienced in those long macro games, and that's where he shines. And he did all the right decisions. I think there was, as you said, in the middle of the game, I think no real threat to him. Uh, not too much. And Colorful Man, he did his best, but at some point you can't just hold on against Infi. So, two winner bracket semifinals, two times 2 0, and now the winners are clashing, man. 1 2 0 versus Infi. This was a GCS Grand Final in 2016 with the very first episode. And I wonder who will be the first player to make it into the playoffs. It's gonna be one of them. And of course, Orc Worker versus Colorful will fight for survival right after. Are we going into a break or what? We can do a little break, yeah. I, I think we were speaking like I was expecting a break, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, yeah, it's going to be a big match. Um, Infi has been struggling against, well, for the longest time, like, Anand has been struggling pretty hard against the top uh, humans in China, but seems to have, having, have been having more success recently. But um, these are, it's turned out to be pretty obvious today the two strongest player in the group um, yeah. unless something dramatically changes these two will make it through the group there's no like no big upset so far they both played very very well they were never in danger of losing and yeah i wonder what happens now when they collide this could be epic and then like super crazy battles all the time or as an nsl where one two zero defeated him in a best of five in like 45 minutes it was ridiculous one map was six minutes one map was eight minutes and one map was i think another six minutes or so oh no it was three one sorry about that uh but yeah is this the old infi that dominates undead or did one two zero find the key against the chinese uh, powerhouse the former world champion we'll see about that we go into a little break and then we'll be right back here live from shanghai gold championship series winner bracket final coming up <laughs> 